So in this one, it says a 50-foot ladder is leaned up against the wall. The base of the ladder is pulled away from the wall at a building at a rate of three, foot, three feet um, per second. How fast is the top of the ladder falling when the base is 30 feet, 30 feet from the wall? So a couple things is I know that a ladder has a length of 50 feet, right? So I'm just going to say, so if I was going to do this kind of step one, step two, I'd say 1L equals 50 feet. Um, it's pulled away from the wall of a building um, at a rate of 3 feet per second. Pull away from the, oh, I guess I pulled away. Well. I think I changed the wording in there. So the rate is three feet per second. So this is a rate of three feet per second. And then what they're asking is how, um, how fast is the top of the ladder falling when the base is 30 feet from the wall? So again, they're asking how fast is the top of the ladder um, falling? Now, to really kind of understand these other variables, though, I think what would be important is to kind of um, move fast. How fast? is the top of the ladder falling. OK, that's what we're looking for. But for really kind of understanding the rest of these variables, what I'd recommend doing is drawing a picture. So if we can say, here's our ladder. Here's our base. And then here's our height. Now, we know that the ladder is equal to 50. And they're looking for us to how, f how fast is the ladder at the, uh, how fast is the top of the ladder falling when the base is 30 feet from the wall. So therefore, we can also say that the base is equal to 30 feet. So this is step number three. So therefore, I can also say B equals 30 feet. Now what we need to do is go ahead and find the height. We want to be able to find the height at that current point in time, that instantaneous rate of change, right? So does anybody remember your Pythagorean triples in geometry? Three, four, five. So therefore, your height, you guys can reason, is going to be four, four, 40 feet. So I can also say h equals 40 feet. All right? Now, the next thing that we need to look at is um, length equals uh, to identify how fast is the top of the ladder falling when the base is 30 feet from the wall. So let's go ahead and look at um, as far as how these lengths are all related, which we could say is going to be your Pythagorean theorem. So on step number three, which is the picture, which is over there, step number four, what I'm going to do is uh, create an equation. Because remember, we have to create an equation that we have to differentiate with respect to time. So I can say, b squared plus h squared equals l squared. Now, based on what we did at the beginning of class, if we need to differentiate that with respect to time, then I would have d over dt of b squared plus h squared equals l squared. So therefore, that's going to give me 2b db over dt plus 2h dh over dt equals 2L, yep, DL over DT. So again, let's go back over to the question. It says, how fast is the top of the ladder falling? when the base is 30 feet um, from the wall. So, and the last thing is our rate. The, the ladder is being pulled away of the wall at a building at a rate of three feet per second. So we can say that is basically the change in the base is going to be at three feet per second. So remember, let's look at this. This represents the length of the base. It, the length of the height and the length of L, the ladder. This is going to be the change. Yes? Uh, 
Uh, yes, we'll get to that. Um, this represents the change in the length of the ladder with respect to time. Now, does that make sense? Is the ladder, when this problem, so basically you guys can envision this, this ladder is you know, against the wall and it's like falling, right? It's kind of lost its friction and it's just falling down. Is the, cha is the ladder changing at all? No. So therefore, we can say, so in that case, we can say that's basically going to go into 0. And obviously, you could take away each one of these. You could divide by 2 and replace this. You can divide out of 2. We know that's going to equal 0. So even though the length is 50, that's going to be equal to 0. And now what we need to do is look into uh, the change in the height as, as well as our change in our base. So we know our base is going to be 30 feet. Is being pulled away from the wall building at a rate of 3 feet per second. So the change in the base, how fast it's being pulled away, is at 3 feet per second. So dB dt is 3 feet per second. I guess I forgot to write that in there. H is 40. But do we know how the, height, the change in the height is? Do we know what the change in the height is? No. So the change in height with respect to time is going to be dH dt, which we do not know. Obviously, anything times 0 is going to be 0. Yes? Yeah, it is plus 40. I just write, didn't write in the addition sign. Yes. <coughs> and um, there aren't any other. So then here, what we end up is with 90 feet per second squared. And then plus 40 dh dt, that'd be 80, equals 0. And now, ladies and gentlemen, what we simply need to do is just go ahead and solve for dh dt, because that's, again, what they're asking is, how fast is the top of the ladder, which would be your height up here, how fast is the top of the ladder falling when the base is 30 feet from the wall? So when you go ahead and solve, So last thing to just kind of notice is once you guys subtract the 90 feet and then divide by 40 feet, uh, or divide 90 feet squared, 90 feet, um, 90 feet squared on both sides, then divide, by, then divide by 40 feet, you'll be left with a negative 9.4 feet per second is going to be the rate that it is changing. Does anybody have any questions as far as setting up the